Hey, Matt the Momo Hunter for McGee Farms. And I just did a video talking about the Harbor Freight Quick Hitch that uh, you can get there, how to modify it for regular three-point implements. And uh, you got to put this little link on top to make it work. But the other thing you have to do is the implements. If you get the Harbor Freight one, it's set up for a Category 2. So you got to do a little modification to the pins that are on the bottom. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to hook it up. Now, granted, we're hooking up a hay spear today. When you're hooking up a blade, a brush hog, a disc, something that's sitting there, you just back right up and lift up and you hook up the top arm. This is going to be just a little bit different just because... Uh, you know, this doesn't sit up to where you back up to it. We're going to have, have to actually pick it up, but it's not a big deal. Uh, what you're going to need, I get these at Rural King. You can pick them up off of Amazon too. It's a Category 1 quick hitch adapter. The Category 2 will work, but uh, it just, you got a little extra room in there, which probably isn't a good thing. But you basically just have this little sleeve and you have a roll pin. You slide this through where the pins normally go through. You line it up here and you just hammer this pin in is all you do. So uh, we're gonna get down here. I'm gonna start hammering. And once I get it in, you'll uh, see the finished product. All right, so we got it in, uh, hammered it in. One thing I forgot to mention, these roll pins, one side is beveled. That's the side that you wanna hammer in and this, being the Category 1s were a lot easier to do. The ones that I uh, had done on the other tractor were not quite so easy. Uh, they were Category 2, which is a little gap, but they still worked. But hammering them in was a pain. I had to get the roll pin kind of squeezed with uh, some vice grips and actually set it on my uh, vice to hammer it in to get it started. But it worked in uh, in the long run. It worked good. So now it's basically just picking them up and hooking them on here. See if I can do this with the camera with one hand. I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably going to have to set the camera down to do this. Okay, so we got everything converted over and we ran into another problem. And this I'm actually, I'm going to do another video on, but uh, go ahead and wrap this one up. Because the way putting the sleeves on, putting the, uh, uh, you know, putting this uh, conversion piece on is all you really need to do for most implements. The issue I ran into is this bale spear, and I went up to the farm and home store, and all the others that are this type, there's two types of bale spears. All the others that are this type are the same way, and that is these tabs line up right here so there's no way that you can drop the uh the pins into it you got to make them just a little bit wider and it's just a hair and i've got an idea i'm getting ready to do another video uh hopefully within the next week i'll have it finished and i'll have the video edited and up too so stay tuned for that but i've had a week since i filmed the earlier part of this and i've had a week to think about how to fix it and I got a pretty good idea. I think I can make it work. So stay tuned, and here in a couple of days, you'll uh, you'll see what I came up with. Again, it's Matt the Mobile Hunter from McGee Farms. If you enjoyed the video, if it helps you out, as always, please consider subscribing, giving us a like, leaving a comment. It's all appreciated. Till next time.